guys, welcome back to my channel. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Today, I'm going to be doing my top five fall essentials. Now, these are my top five. This is something that I personally go to Target and I'm like, it's fall, so I need these things in my life. And I just wanted to share them with you because I feel like you guys need these products in your life too. Um, I do have some beauty fall essentials. I have, you know, some candles, of course. And I also want to talk about fashion that is going to be most popular in the fall of 2015. I didn't think about what year it was. I don't know if other people are doing this, but I just randomly thought of it, so... I hope that I'm like one of the first ones that does something like this. So the first essential that I'm going to talk about is nail polish. So for me, and I guarantee everyone can agree on this, that is huge on nail polishes in fall, is that you need a dark color, you need a purple, like a dark plummy purple, you know, a crisp you know, dark red apple nail color, um, just something along those lines. And the Fall Essie line, I do remember seeing actually like a coral color, shockingly. I do have one of the nail polishes out of that line. I saw browns, purples, reds, and like a random coral. So I'm going to share some of the nail polishes that I think you guys would love for fall. Granted, two of these are old and two of these are new, so whatever. Um, the first one is from the new Essie Fall Collection, and this is called With the Band. It just looks like this. And to me, this is kind of like a red brick color. Orangey red going on here, but it still has that like rustic brick color. You guys know what I'm talking about, like a red brick on a house. It kind of looks like this. Yeah. The other color is more of a dark purple. This is what I have on my nails right now. This is called Shearling Darling. And actually this isn't new. I lied. I actually bought this two years ago, maybe. So Shearling Darling, this is more of a dark, um, I would have to say almost like a brown purple color. So that is what I'm wearing on my nails today. Other twos that I have that I bought last year are the Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy. And I believe that you have to have a top coat for these. So this one is called Queen of Hearts. This is again, um, this is actually a very dark red. So if you're looking for a dark red color, try that. And then this one's more not so dark, but it kind of looks like a grape purple. And this is called High Roller. And again, these are from the Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy line. So definitely go to Target or, you know, the beauty supply store and check these out. I definitely think that, like, dark purples, dark reds, um, I'm assuming, like, coral is coming for fall. I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. Coral is more of a spring, but whatever. My second fall essential would have to be this lipstick. Any purpley darks, I know some of my friends are buying, like, brown lipsticks and just, like, dark beiges and purples, even dark reds. Um, definitely try if you want a new purple lipstick. Definitely try the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lipsticks. These, you guys know, I mean, when I first bought these, I bought like five different colors. This just so happens to be one of them. And I always gravitate towards it during the fall and winter time. So this one is in the color backstage. And that's what I'm wearing right now, so you can kind of get a feel of what it looks like. Like it has very cool tones in it. So if you would like to try a new purple color, um, definitely try the Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede. They go on very soft and they do dry matte. So if you are a matte lipstick lover, definitely try these out. And I guarantee every girl is running into Bath and Body Works right now and picking up the most popular candles. I have yet to go in there. Girls on a budget, you know. I can't spend $20 on a candle, even though they have those two for 22s. I just, I can't do it, guys. I just, I don't know if I can do it this year. I got these candles from Big Lots. Yeah, Big Lots. I mean, just get anything that is pumpkin. Um, you know, this one's banana nut bread, and this one smells so good. This one's like almost finished. Oh, it smells so good. Then this one is mulled cider. I love cider candles during fall. Let me know down in the comment what your favorite scent is for fall. Mine is cider. Um, yours could be like pumpkin or apple. I don't even know what other fall scents that there are. Um, cinnamon, marshmallow, anything like that. Definitely go pick up a nice warm fall candle to light in your room. The next thing is a scarf. Now, you guys can pick out any scarf. Yes, I am hiding a red blotch. 
but this is the only scarf I could find in my closet because my other ones are in my other house <laughs> somewhere and I can't find it right now. I have all my spring and summer clothes and I have jackets and coats and I have like no fall clothes. So I did find a scarf. Go find a scarf that is warm. You're definitely going to need it to keep your neck. You can even wrap it around your ears. You can do whatever you want with the scarf. Scarves are amazing and they're easy to style with during the fall. They will keep you warm and they can be a fashion statement. I was actually not talk about Big Lots again but Okay, I love Big Lots. And they came out with new scarves. And it looks like they just put them out. They have like leopard ones and just like different colored ones. And they're all like maroon and purple and black and brown. And I wanted to buy all of them and they're only six bucks. So. And my last fall essential would have to be, and I only picked this out because I was reading that for fall slash winter of 2015 that, guess what's coming back guys for fall? It's going to be like the 70s, like bell bottoms are coming back and suede and velvet and like hippie style. So if you're into that, hey, rock it you guys. So it's going to be like fringe is coming back for fall. Um, leather, like poofy shoulders, like poofy sleeves are coming back. So definitely keep an eye out for that stuff. I just love leather jackets, really pleather. So I would have to say that my leather jacket is a must. I love mine. Um, my friend actually bought this for me at Rainbow for like $16. It has a nice little hood that you can put on your head when it's raining out or if you just want to be gangster, you know. Um, but definitely get yourself a leather jacket. Just get yourself a nice sweater, leather, suede, velvet, anything like that. That is definitely going to be coming back for fall. So that is the end of my video. Definitely leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite scent is for fall and anything else you guys want to talk about for fall. Just your five essentials, anything that you guys think I missed. Um, I could talk about chapstick, lotion, generic stuff, but let's get serious. Finally, don't forget to check out my previous video, which is my September favorites. If you haven't already, I'll link it down in the description bar, or it's just the previous video before this. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and I love you. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you later. Yes, I'm gonna get comfortable. Mm. Oh, why would I eat this before I'm filming? Mm. Ooh. Oh, am I getting blotchy? Why? You guys want one? You're so good. Now I'm thirsty. Emmy Gal, what are we gonna do with you? my redness. I scratch myself. <coughs> I freaking turned red and I'm choking on that peanut. <coughs> Warm fall, you know, pumpkin, apple feeling of good warmness, crisp air, whatever. I feel like that this video is getting off to an awful start. My second top fall, I can't talk. My second top fall essential. Let's go.